Peace and love. We're here on Peace TV. And here on Peace TV, I like to get different perspectives around peace, different lifestyles that reflect peace, and um, just get some different, um, you know, testimonials around peace, you know. So I'm rocking with some powerful brothers right now. You want to introduce yourselves? Tony Alvarez, show me walkabouts. It's your brother, uh, Mikael. Um, I'm going by the traveling medicine man right now. I'm just coming back from a journey from Africa, and um, yeah, feeling good and feeling blessed right now. Give thanks. Give thanks. Well, give thanks to both of my brothers um, being present with me right now and to be able to tap into a frequency of peace and harmony here on Peace TV. Definitely about promoting peace and advocating for peace within itself. So, okay, um, good brother. So, you rocking here with Brother Peace. I, I definitely have had my good brother Mike Kill here on the platform before and I'm tapping into the vibration of peace. But um, I'm grateful to have the brother, like he just said, he's um, just coming back from Africa. You feel me? So we got some things to tap in on that frequency of the motherland. You feel me? And um, I'm very grateful to have my good brother right here, Tony. You know, um, this is his first time on Peace TV. So I want to get the brother's perspective around peace and um, see what does peace look like to you. Thank you, son. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and incorporate my little guy into that action. You want to say hi? Say hi. Look right over there and say hi. Hey, I mean, Nato. I mean, Nato. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Here, go find a special place to put those for me, okay? Yeah. Find, eat, find a different place for each one in there, okay? Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much for your patience, people. So what was the question? I'm sorry. Uh, I just wanted to get your perspective around peace, because here on Peace TV, you rock with Brother Peace, but I know that it's different, different perspectives and lifestyles that reflect peace. So I just want to see what does um, peace look like to you, good brother. Wow. That's a, that's a big one. You know, peace... Um, Peace has layers to it. Um, it. I don't think it looks like one thing. Uh, peace doesn't. Uh... God, that's a deep question. It's it's a simple question, but it's deep. What does it look like to me? Can I hold it? When I when I think the word peace, I think of I think of myself on a mountaintop, sitting. You know, as they call Indian style or lotus position. And just breathing. Just breathing and being in the moment. Thank you, son. And being in the moment of breath. That is peace to me. But if we're looking at peace as a, as a global thought, um, then peace would mean respect and love for every individual thing on this planet. Everything. On this planet, everything. There you go. I love it. Um, that means... That means all the way down, right down to the ants and, and the grasshoppers. Grasshoppers. Bees. Bees. Even the ancestors that aren't with us anymore. Small. I appreciate you sharing what does peace look like to you. What does peace look like to you? Um, I also would like to um, see how, um, see your examples around peace. Like, what do you do to put yourself in that state of peace? Brother, say, like, you may not be feeling that peace or uneasy, a little frustrated, you know. What are some um, examples that you um, tap into that bring you back to a state of centeredness and groundness and peace within? Thank you, brother. Um, <clears throat> so I would say, you know, um, working with mushroom medicine has definitely helped me in that aspect tremendously. Because whenever I'm taking, whenever I take just enough to go in and just enough to start to feel a little bit of the jello legs, um, that is when I find myself really focusing. I found a bug in it. Thank you, son. Okay. <laughs> so um, when, I, when I get to that jello need moment, um, I really focus on my breathing and I find my body automatically doing deep breathing. I don't even have to try. So finding peace for me and like Zen moments is really about breath. And it may, some people that don't believe in breath work or don't even practice it might say it sounds crazy, but 
it all is based on breath. That's the first thing we did when we were born. And it's the last thing we'll do when we leave. So if we have moments of deep thought process during deep breath meditation, that is how I find really deep, peaceful moments. I appreciate you expressing that, brother. Um, I can um, definitely um, acknowledge that as well on my journey of going through different things and maybe being um, shook out of my peaceful vibration within, you know, just tapping into the, the frequency of breathing and and just being conscious within my breath and knowing that I can release these emotions that I'm dealing with. You feel me? I can transmute the energy. You know what I'm saying? I can tap into a different vibration by just cultivating and um, working with my breath. You feel me? Brother Michael, I would like to get um, your perspective. Um, how have you been tapping into your peace as in late? You know, sharing some examples around like when you've been moving to some different things, what have you been doing to cultivate your peace? Sure. Well, um, I just want to uh, give a thanks for this moment, you know what I'm saying? Because this is a beautiful moment right now. Um, I started to come back from traveling, but I've been seeing my brothers um, online, like, you know, building and connecting and um, just really being a good example of. Uh, some healers and practitioners and I just want to highlight that we all are healers and practitioners when it comes to um, working with plant and plant medicines and um, that's like something that's been helping me keep my pieces being connected with the earth and being able to have moments like the brother was saying just to breathe just to meditate just to be at just to be me you know what I'm saying and that's what keep my pieces is me being able to be me and being true to myself being true to my character and my being and, um, and projecting that positivity to the world and receiving that back to me so that's what keep me peace brother is just doing things that's positive to me you know what i'm saying music is one of those big things that always kept me on my peace you know growing up and also um yeah connecting with uh like-minded people you know what i'm saying it's definitely keeping me at peace right now you know what i'm saying and, and then traveling to these certain uh lands and places that i feel called to that's um like very ancestral to me you know what i'm saying i say working with my ancestors has been keeping me at peace you know what i'm saying because a lot of my ancestors, I didn't get a chance to meet or I didn't know their history. But now that I'm getting more history of my ancestors, where I come from, I want to learn more. I want to know, you know, know my true history and where I come from. So that's really been keeping me peace, knowing that it's so much to learn out here, so much to grow into. And that's, you know, I'm, I'm here for a purpose, but I'm also growing and learning every day. So that's my peace right there. I appreciate you brothers going in and sharing some, some different things here in this life that can um, help you. Um, align back with that peace within you feel me um I, one thing i can also acknowledge that um all three of us brothers can relate is on this plant medicine you know this the, the plant medicines that are here on the planet to assist us i look at them as um ancient tools you know because doing my research and learning more about my history and seeing how my ancestors our ancestors work with these um ancient tools of the earth you know spe specifically plant medicine and we're going in on a fungi and that's how we um connected with this good brother is at a, a psychedelic um plant medicine event in Oakland, it was a conference, and we got to connect with this brother. And both of these brothers were on a panel together. You feel me? That was powerful seeing that y'all brothers on there representing for um, our people and I'm um, speaking truth. And um, I just would like to get y'all perspectives around the plant medicine. Like, why is it necessary for our people to tap in or expand their awareness around these these ancient plant medicines that've been here on this earth? Give me that one more time. Um, be able to show your perspective around why is it important for our people to get back to utilizing these ancient tools, these ancient um, plant medicines. Absolutely. So thank you so much for that question. Um, it's extremely important for us to get back to these these uh, traditions because these are historically how our people connected to the source. Uh, before all the religions, before all the heavily... Um, uh, created ideologies about who it is, uh, who is human, what it is to be human, the ex the existence of human, uh, how we're supposed to live this life. They went through plant medicines. So us getting back to basics is how we're going to get back to the connectiveness of everybody, of everything, and understanding that nothing is separate. There is no separate anything, you know. Just because we call that a rock, that doesn't mean that doesn't make it a rock, and that doesn't mean it doesn't have feelings. You know, we are all part of this beautiful mystery of life, this beautiful planet. We're all made up. Our nails are made of the same stuff sand is made of. 
Like, it's real talk, man. So, yeah. So, utilizing these plant medicines helped me understand my connectiveness to every single thing, every living thing, every quote-unquote non-living thing, because everything on this planet is alive. Mm -hmm. Everything. Mm. So... Yeah, it's helped me to to re reach a, a deeper understanding about my my process and my my um, my existence in this body. The fact that I chose this body, the fact that I chose this path. <clears throat> excuse me, it took me some time to get back to it, but I'm here, and I'm glad I met these brothers. I mean, we're we're building great things right now in this moment. There's there's pyramids being built as we speak. Brother Tony, I just want to, um, if you could, if you can highlight just your, um, how you work with the plant medicine, you know what I'm saying? Because since I don't know you, I know you as a, um, a, a forager, as, as a healer, and um, a lot of people don't know the history or information about it, or don't know too many people that do it. I didn't know too many people that do it, you know what I'm saying, until I met you. So can you let people know how you work with the plant medicine by foraging and, and connecting with the earth? Absolutely. Thank you, brother. Thank you for the clarification. Thanks. So, <clears throat> so... What it is, the walkabout started originally with me taking friends and family members out just to teach them how to forage and us microdosing and just having a good time. And the times that I didn't microdose, the times that I did microdose, I noticed that my fruitfulness... I got those. Okay. Son, give me just a second, okay? Do you want to sit right next to me? So taking people out, microdosing them, and having them understand that the times that I would go foraging and microdose, my success rate was much higher than not taking psilocybin. Okay, so going out there without taking the medicine. Yes, okay. going out there, quote unquote, sober. Yeah. I, I actually had days where I would get skunked. And then the more I started microdosing, I was like, okay, like I'm constantly, but I'm also looking in areas that I don't normally look because I'm in my creative side. I'm in my moment, mm -hmm. you know? So that helped me understand the, the connection between the plant medicine and us really connecting yeah. to the mycelial network and, and all the, the plants and the gifts that we receive as gifts from Pachamama, you know? So... This started very, um, very fluidly, very organically with family and friends. And then I had a friend that, that was adamant about paying me for the walkabout. <clears throat> and I was, you know, we had the moment where it was like, no, 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 no. It was all that craziness, you know, the ego kind of stuff getting to it. But I finally, in that moment, I was able to understand that what I'm, what I'm offering is valuable. And that I'm able to teach people how to really connect not just, not just forage, but we're really connecting, not only to the mycelial network directly because we're on mushrooms, but also creating mycelial networks within the circles that come to my walkabouts. I mean, it's incredible. The friendships that have come out of my walkabouts has been miraculous. Yeah, like lifetime. Yes, lifetime relationships, man. And, and people starting businesses together, man, and being fruitful together. And it's, it's incredible to see, man. And, it's it's bigger than me. It's about it's about the medicine. It's about Pachamama. I'm merely a steward for both. But you know, it's so that's that's what it is, man. That's what it is, and it's a beautiful walk. No, for real talk. And, and, and can you shout out the name? So powerful. Uh, the Shroomy walkabouts. The, right? the Shroomy walkabouts on IG website in the process of being built. You can find me at Shroomy walkabouts on IG. And uh, yeah, if you know anybody who wants to come out and and just enjoy their time in nature and really connect, please DM me for any information. Yes, definitely tap in. We encourage you to tap in with Shroomy Walkabouts. This is a good brother, and we highly recommend that. And I um, appreciate you asking that question, Michael, and highlighting that. Um, brother Michael, I would like to get your perspective of why is the, the plant medicine, the fungi, the mushrooms important to you, and you feel like our people need to get back to utilizing it? Mm. The, the, the plant medicine, the fungi, why is it important to me? Um... It's important to me because it helped change my life, man. And it made me a better person and helped to clear a lot of blockages and a lot of um, healing I needed to do that I didn't even know about. You know, before I started working with plant medicine, I had a lot of uh, trauma and pain I've been through in my lifetime. And um, a lot of that stuff I suppressed and I um, put it in the back of my mind and I blocked it. 
And um, it was been affecting me in my life. And when I started working with plant medicine, it revealed a lot of these things to me. I was able to have a lot of self-talk and um, release a lot of things. And then um, I was able to change, you know what I'm saying? And when I started changing and seeing the better results for myself and um, seeing my life change, I just knew it was something that I needed to, to keep around me, keep working with. So um, the more deeper that um, I've been going plant medicine, the better my life has been, honestly. You know what I'm saying? I'm at a point right now that I'm able to help and guide people with it because I don't have enough experiences with it that I know what it's done to me and I see how it affects people and I'm able to uh, utilize it as a tool now, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like uh, plant medicine, um, and this was something Baba Kalindi uh, uh, told me when I met him that resonated with me. He was like, be calling it plant medicine, but it's really like uh, like a tool, like a, a guide and something to help raise your consciousness, you know what I'm saying? And when he said that, it, it kind of um, made me look at it a little bit differently because I, I have been using it as a medicine, and it is a medicine, uh, for especially for times in this planet what's going on but also it's a gateway and a tool and a higher consciousness and i would say that so for that purpose um all these plants and all these things down here on the, on the earth are um sent to us to help guide us to help us you know um survive and um to nourish us and to heal you know what i'm saying so now that i know this i, I can't deny it and i can't um you know, stop it, you know what I'm saying? It's something that's controlling me, you know, to a sense now, you know, it's guiding me, telling me what to do in my life and purpose, and I don't have to think no more. I just, you know, let the medicine and let my ancestors and let everything that's for my purpose, you know, let me know what's going on. So I would say that's why it's important to me because it helps change my life. It helps guide me now, and it's um, something that being here on the earth, you know, the fungi kingdom, so we got to show them respect to it. I say definitely got to show respect to it because it's been a part of... Um this earth history for a very long time and we just got to get back to honoring these natural elements that have been on the earth and um assisting humanity you feel me so i definitely give thanks and gratitude for the mycelium network you feel me if we if we emulated the things that the human race did around the mycelium network like this world would be we would be unstoppable as as an entire unity peace loving connected with all the animals i mean this would be it, it would be, it, it is heaven on earth currently, but it could be so much prettier. It could be, prettier. So it could be prettier and synchronized. yes, on, har and, harmony. Yes, harmony and enough food for everybody to eat, enough water for everybody to drink. There's enough. There always is enough. Always. We're just taught to think that scarcity mindset. So we need to get out, out of that. We also need to, since you're talking about, you know, physical exercise, you know, people looking up, doing research on like gut flora. And, and different things in the stomach that help their bodies move and help their bodies create certain endorphins that help them move better in life and, and help their bodies not be so inflamed. I mean, there's things that we eat that are really bad for us, so let's, let's also tap into that, you know? Yeah, you know what, man? Just shout out this, uh, you know, this everybody's getting back to the earth right now. I mean, I shout out Shumi Walkabouts for being a leader with um, foraging and being out to the earth and connecting with the earth. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Brother Peace for, you know, uh, his psychedelic music and art, you know, and showing that connection with the earth. You know, shout out Raw Soul Collective, you know what I'm saying? Uh, brothers, you know, putting together, um, you know, food and, you know, gift boxes to the community and, and doing uh, ciphers and events, art, music, working with the plant medicine. And, you know, just shout out this... Um, uh, Oakland High Fay, you feel me, for connecting us all through the uh, psychedelic conference, you feel me? They doing some great works. It's so many people uh, to shout out right now, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to all my people getting back to the earth, working with the plant medicine, advocating for it, changing these different laws and regulations, is that back to the natural ways of things. And um, yeah, I just want to give thanks for life right now, you feel me? There we go. Give thanks to life because that's what we're experiencing and we want to embrace more life over death, you know. Embrace more life. We speaking life into each other. We acknowledging the life when we see each other like peace, my brother, peace, my sister, because we all alive. We're not walking around dead. We're not zombies. We don't have to be on that frequency. And it is agenda to lower our vibrations so we can lose that that hue that pure human connection like a lot of times people don't even socialize nowadays or just genuinely acknowledge each other you know we got to get back to just speaking life and acknowledging the life that's around us you feel me so i give thanks to these powerful brothers and being able to tap into a frequency of peace and love with me you feel me um i feel like we, we may head out soon good brother but i definitely want to get your perspective mike Kell, brother you say you just got back from the motherland so i would like to um get some of your perspective around traveling out to africa and how are you tapping into some peace out there in africa yes um yeah give thanks brother for um yeah shouting that out and highlighting that i would say that um 
yeah, Africa has been on my mind, you know, since I was young growing up. Um, I always uh, been intrigued about many things in Africa and I always been, um, you know, been, you know, led with many things of being African, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, going back to the motherland and um, seeing the life and activity and, and their lifestyle out there is very empowering. And I see it's, it's a lot of uh, natural things going on out there, a lot of natural uh, resources that, we, you know, that's abundant. You know, that shows me that, like, the brother Tony was saying that we all can live abundantly on the earth. But also, you know, I've seen conditions that wasn't um, cool as far as a lot of toxic environments from pollution from the air and cars and gasoline and a lot of dirty, polluted waters and places that was so beautiful, you know what I'm saying? So it's gave me a deeper perspective how the earth, you know what I'm saying, is really hurting and that, you know, the animals on the earth is really hurting and that, you know, Actually, humanity is messing up the ecosystem on the earth, you know what I'm saying? And we got to do a better job of being um, intelligent beings and, and within our own nature and our own spirit and help protect the life that was given to us on the earth as being stewards of the earth because humanity is stewards of the earth, though. You know, we were one of the last beings that came to this earth, but we came down here for a reason and purpose to help the earth and help the ecosystem. So I would say that that's been my biggest perspective with traveling right now, you know what I'm saying? Seeing different places of the earth, seeing that the earth is so abundant and beautiful, but also seeing how the earth is hurting and how we need to clean the earth, how we need to clean our minds and our bodies too as well, you know what I'm saying? And um, keeping my peace in Africa, I would say, just living my, my lifestyle. You know, I brought, I brought plant medicine with me, you know what I'm saying? I'll put it right there on the camera. I'm not suppressing myself with my natural things, you know what I'm saying? So I had plant medicine with me there. I took mushrooms on the continent, you know what I'm saying? Um, had some divine experiences out there with it. Um, connected with the land, you know what I'm saying? Just living my natural lifestyle. It, it was beautiful out there because the environment is so pleasant, so beautiful, you know what I'm saying? So that was a divine experience. And also learning my history more, my culture more, seeing other people, um, you know what I'm saying, from my... Um, for my for my culture, you know, embracing it, you know, living it, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, I want to look forward to doing that more and having all of us be able to know ourselves, like you said, know who we are and got knowledge of self. So, um, yeah, that's how I've been keeping my peace out there in Africa, brother. I don't know if anything particularly you want me to uh, touch on, but, yeah. Okay, <laughs> keeping your peace. So, uh, we can tap into peace anywhere on the planet. You feel me? The peace is within, but, you know, it's a lot of activity going on here in the world and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Uh, what, what were some challenges you were um, experiencing out there that was disturbing your peace? Man, um, some challenges I was experiencing. I would say one big thing is that it's a big perspective of being from America. You know what I'm saying? That we are rich and, you know, a lot of these perspectives they put out on TV and, and the media about, you know, uh, uh, original people, brown people that we out here and that we all, you know, materialize and all about, you know, money and, and clothes and all that stuff. They come at you like that when you're traveling. They look at you as, you know, a way to get money, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really like that because I'm really coming to learn my history, my culture, and connect with my people, you feel me? So a lot of times, you know, that one thing that was buzzing my piece was like, you know, they'll come at you like that and I want to be connected on a genuine level, you know what I'm saying? So that was one thing, you know, that I would like to um, see change, you know, the imagery of, of America. And, and the brothers and sisters from out here and knowing that we more than just this materialism, sexualized, over-sexualization and stuff like that. Like, we, we some good natural people, you know, human beings. So that was one thing. And I would say that um, this access I was seeing my brothers and sisters not get out there. Like, a lot of them, they wasn't able to travel to other places. You know what I'm saying? They could only stay in their country in Africa or their family didn't, you know, have enough funds or they couldn't get enough funds to travel to places that was, like, right an hour away from them. You know how we travel out here, yeah. all in America, different places. You can go to L.A. from, you know, Oakland and stuff. They wasn't even going to access the places that their family came from, so they couldn't even go there. It was just so messed up. So that hurt my heart to see that. You know what I'm saying? So that was buzzing my piece. And then I would say also... Um, just conditioning of the people, you know, they, they got so much abundance out there, but other people come in, they buying the land up, they buying the resources up and taking it and they getting paid off and then they out there don't have, and a, and a mental system don't have nothing of the physical when it comes to money and materialism, but they got everything though, you know what I'm saying? From the natural earth to the water, to the clean food and everything, no chemtrails or no kind of GMO foods out there like we deal with, um, more earth to, to appreciate, you know, yeah, many different things that I was like, wow, this is amazing. So, but this condition of the people, they're looking at me coming from America. They want a house and a home and a car and a TV. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we had got in America. But it's so much part of the earth. So it's like, man, seeing that conditioning, knowing that that's an American conditioning across the planet, influencing the whole planet. And, you know, I just want to change that perspective. So outside of those things, everything else is peace and love. Oh, brother, I feel so much love and so much peace coming from my brothers and sisters in Africa. And they're embracing everybody, you know what I'm saying? Anybody who come to that land, they're taking you, they're giving you a tour of the land, and it's all good, you know what I'm saying? So it gave me a deep perspective of how we got to embrace our land more as, as uh, 
indigenous people originally from America. You know what I'm saying? So many people came to America, moved out here, and we ain't got nothing from that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't been able to benefit from these people coming to the land and coming to America, and they coming and doing business and stuff we supposed to be getting. So it just gave me a deeper perspective about things. But, yeah, outside of that, everything it was peace and love, though, brother. Uh, I'm grateful that you had safe travels. You had a peaceful journey on your travels, brother, going there and back. And um, you learned some things and connected deeper with yourself and your ancestry. And uh, like you said, it empowered you, brother, and gave you a deeper perspective. So traveling is very important. You know, I'm from Richmond, California. You know, and, um, my first time traveling outside of America to see uh, my lens outside of America was 2016 when I went to Europe. And I was out there for two months. So I really got to step outside of my environment for a very long time because I grew up around a lot of police sirens and shots firing, man, a lot of um, violence. And that's very traumatizing. And to get away from that and actually be in a space where I'm not um, worried about my life or paranoia or anything of that nature, and I'm just getting that connect with myself and I got to connect with some um, mycelium mushrooms out there you know so I was in Germany and tapped in and I connect with some ancestral vibes connected on a deeper sense with the earth like I really felt the spirit of the earth communicate with me and, and remind me that I'm connected to her on a deep level and she always providing and always has my back and always has a love for me but she wants that reciprocated love like just to acknowledge her, acknowledge the trees, the plants around, like speak life into the water. The water is alive. All these different things have a spirit and a life. So it brought me to a deeper sense of just awareness of the beauty of nature, the magic of nature. And it got me more deeper on my path of my spiritual awakening and tapping in deeper with herself and just working with the earth again. You feel me? And I've just been attracting beautiful people like y'all. You feel me? Beautiful brothers out here, man, on the same path of wanting to work with nature, their ancestors and um, be in their own power, be their own owners of their reality. Yes. creating their own reality instead of having sovereign people go beings. sovereign beings instead of having people govern our minds our life and our family like that shit ain't cool you feel me i don't feel in empowered i can't really genuinely move how i want to be you feel me so i want to be sovereign i want my family i want my future generations to be sovereign you feel me so and that's having real peace of your reality you feel me so I affirm that and I claim that for all of us and our, our our family and our friends and you know other people striving for that as well, you know. So it's very important to travel, see things outside of your environment, and you never know what you are um, a manifest or what opportunities you open up for yourself. You feel me? So give thanks. I, I appreciate these brothers rocking with me. I'm um, today here on Peace TV, and here on Peace TV, man, I'm out here doing this all alone by myself, just. I'm trying to connect with other brothers and sisters and get perspective for y'all to help other brothers and sisters on a path of discovering peace within. You feel me? Realizing that they have the keys to um, attain that inner peace. You feel me? So if you ever feel it in your heart, you want to donate or support the movement, it's all peace and love. I'm open to receive anything, you know, but definitely going to keep building and intentionally having a platform for brothers and sisters to speak their truth, share their journey, share their perspectives to help others on their journey because we all on our journeys down here on earth. You feel me? But may you activate and I'm tap into your peace within on your journey you feel me so i want to just um head out by letting the brothers um let, letting y'all know where y'all can keep up with them and, and tap in with them if y'all really resonating with the good brothers or want to show love or donate to them in their movements thank you so much brother thank you so much for the opportunity peace tv um it's an honor to be on this podcast this this web webisode however we want to call it you know whatever whatever moniker we want to add to it but it's been an honor to share a space with you two and, and to hear your guys' perspectives and, and to just trade these words off, you know, this is this is the the buildings of a beautiful thing and a collaboration that's gonna take over quickly. Mm. We're gonna be able to change a lot of things very quickly. You know, we just gotta move. So thank you so much for the opportunity, brother, and I will definitely be back be back on. We'll be we'll be working together very soon. Bless. Ashe. Bless so good things. Good brother Tony. Oh yes and um it's brother uh, Mikhail. Um, I'm working on my social media presence. You know what I'm saying, and I think we all kind of working on expanding. You know, out there more to the uh, to the world. You know what I'm saying. So, on uh, social media, on Instagram, I'm uh, Magic L Bay. My personal link. You know, that's M A G I K E L B Y. Um, on um, Instagram, also on Facebook, I'm uh, Mikhail Garvey Ali. You can find me on uh, Facebook. And um, also Black Sea Cuisine is another um, service I provide, plant-based alkaline food and like workshops. So uh, Black Sea Cuisine. And then also we have, um, oh, it's all good. Also we have um, Raw Soul Collective is our organization that we work with um, arts and music and um, healing and um, natural food. So 
Um, yeah, I just want to shout out all those platforms. But give thanks to you, brother Peace, for you know since I met you, you've been a, a great brother, great um, you know a friend, and just you know a like-minded um, you know brother that I always can uh, depend on. You feel me? So I appreciate you for that, brother, having this platform, doing your works. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, attracting like-minded beings and connecting everybody. I'm looking forward to connecting with both these brothers and doing some powerful works. My brother Tony, I appreciate you for connecting with me right back from my journey from Africa, man, and this, Absolutely, you know what I'm saying, in the, the whole space, you know what I'm saying? So it's been a beautiful journey. Uh, I appreciate you, brother Peace, and uh, my brother Tony, and, 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 and young man for coming through and, and being an uh, inspiration, you know, for all of us. And, um, yeah, give thanks for life. He said, it's me, Nacho. <laughs> it reminded me of uh, Mario. It's me, Mario. And Mario definitely messed with the mushrooms. One shout out. Shroomy Walkabouts, S-H-R-O-O-M-Y. Walkabouts, W-A-L-K-A-B-O-U-T-S. On IG. Hey, we all should support that too. Everybody in the base should support Stream Your Walkabouts and coming out to the fourth. And that's something that's very unique right now. That's something everybody's trying to get back to the node and the earth. So support uh, the movement. You feel me? Support the movement. And yeah, we have so much abundance out here in California, you know, but this is a global frequency that we are spreading out like the spores. We're spreading the spores around the world, you feel me? So peace and love, maybe more peace and love and harmony on this planet. I say. Yeah. They really tried to knock me down, but they didn't knock me down. I've been through some ups and downs, but I still keep my smile. I'ma make my mama proud. I'm a king, I'ma rock my crown. They really tried to knock me down, but they didn't knock me down. Peace coming out of Richmond Not trying to be like these other niggas I'm coming different All these positive vibes got me feeling uplifted Took a couple shots, I'm so glad I'm living I got purpose in this life, so I'm a living When I look in the mirror, I see royalty Ain't divine